गुड मॉर्निंग सो दिस इज अनदर वीडियो एंड ऑडिबल सो hello should i start yeah sure sure good ah, good so till now i was uh, working with amdocs uh, pune on the payroll of servic software private limited where i was uh, working as a platform engineer so my task was to uh, i mean uh, migrate uh, application from on prem to cloud so our client was at&t that was american telephone and telegraph so in total they had uh, 7000 applications in which 4000 were supposed to be migrated so the contract was uh, distributed between <coughs> five companies so one was uh, amdocs one was accenture microsoft and uh, two others so uh, regarding the migration uh, of the applications my task was to do the ado onboarding of that application which was an automated process of uh, atnt and after that i used to create the resources for the production uh, deployment for uh, poc non prod and prod using terraform as per the target architecture which was given by the application team and uh, one uh, other project was a bssc project in which uh, we had a meeting with the uh, dev team and qe team in the morning time so the the those people used to push the changes in the nexus and those changes were uh, pulled by the, in the bit bucket and uh, there was a documentation in which we had to change the versions and uh, after that we had to commit the code in the jenkins and uh, run the pipeline and uh, after that if the any error is coming so fix that error and uh, i mean tell those issues or whatever is done in the scrum meeting and previously i was working with kmg it services so there my task was also to create the resources for the production environment and other than that they had uh, several clients like ux and mv so my task was to uh, go there as a deployment engineer and uh, whatever the requirements were uh, participate in those uh, requirements uh, along with their teams okay fine so uh, i will give you a, a brief uh, about the job description and what we are looking and uh, is it good for you uh, you can you can, uh, you can check that out. so uh, we are looking for a sari candidate hmm. who is expertise in the site level to engineering area i mean um the how to how to implement the sari techniques or sari terminology in the different applications as well as in the uh, in the cloud area as well i mean um, 70% of um, applications are already migrated into aws space and uh, you know while uh, i mean there is a separate team uh, who is doing this cloud migration um, so as an sari the person should know how to improve the observability and the performance while doing this migration and after after the migration and uh, we need to advise the team uh, how to improve the or, or sustain the uh, performance or the um, uh, after after the migration definitely there will be a couple of monitoring integration kind of things hmm. um, so we are using different tools like that adopt splunk grafana cloud and the logic monitor i mean yes splunk i already mentioned so these are the different tools we are using so uh the person should know how to integrate uh, the um uh, the application with the this kind of tools monitoring tools so uh definitely uh, there will be a couple of uh, round of discussion if you are shortlisted definitely so this is a first uh, i mean filtration process and then uh, you will have a, a couple of client round discussion um once you are shortlisted um and 
and uh, the person should know uh, the AWS space, including some um, cloud related technologies like uh, Terraform or Ansible or Puppet, any of these, and uh, uh, the Jenkins CI CD kind of things, a bit, bit part of, I mean, DevOps related, um, you know, automation kind of thing. And uh, a client is expect, uh, expecting the, uh, the some kind of programming languages like, I mean, scripting languages like Python or um, uh, any of these shell script, any, any kind of things. So any of them. Uh, so these are the basic requirements. And uh, definitely there will be kind of on-call activities and the, part of the incident management. Um, so these are the different uh, uh, or the key uh, requirements as part of this um, job or job description. So I hope uh, you have experienced in the uh, AWS or uh, and the related technologies like uh, Terraform or Ansible or Apache and some of the monitoring tools like Datadog, Splunk, um, Grafana Cloud or Prometheus Grafana. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not asking uh, your specifically doing or experience in these tools uh, that's not um, because uh, in your in your uh, current project maybe uh, you're using a different tool that's fine but uh, definitely there will be a couple of um, monitoring tools all of them are um, doing the same activities and the same infra or same kind of architecture uh, so the person should know what is the uh, backend and administration kind of thing so uh, that that will be good as well for them uh, in, in case of the uh, monitoring part or monitoring tools. Okay. And uh, yeah, this is the basic thing. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, Go got your point. So in Amdocs, it was uh, known as the optimization of the applications because uh, mm. as a platform engineer, uh, I was working there. So the project got completed. So they asked me to release. So my last working day was, was 4th of Feb. So there will be few people who will be involved in those uh, remediation and optimization tasks. So. Uh, okay. I, I mean, so, a similar kind of environment was uh, in Amdocs also. Okay, so you are currently working in Amdocs or in a different company? I am not working anywhere. I was working on the third party payroll of uh, Sorbic Software Private, oh, okay. Private Limited. Okay. So you 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 left from the Amdocs, right? And in April to February. Yes, actually, the truth is that they left me. I, I was willing to work with them. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, fine. Uh, so you, I mean, from in Amdocs, you are doing some platform or you are doing the platform engineering. So uh, we were given the target architecture, which was actually a diagram of what has to be implemented. So as per the target architecture and detailed documentation of a particular application, uh, we used to create okay. the resources. Okay, in. but one question, I mean, uh, uh, do you have any experience in the SRE? area or SRE terminologies or uh, high reliability engineering activities kind of things in any of the projects, any of the previous, previous projects as well? So in all the previous projects, my designation was either cloud engineer or DevOps engineer. So SRE engineer uh, on paper, I have never got this uh, designation. So I have one question, uh, what uh, the tools you have mentioned uh, are used in DevOps also. So mm -hmm. what is the difference between DevOps engineer and SRE engineer? Okay, yeah, that's why I'm, that's why I'm asking. I mean, yeah, from your profile, I could not see any of the SRE related activities or any SRE kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm asking, um, do you have any experience in the SRE area or SRE kind of thing? The tools you have mentioned, I will, uh, I have a exposure. If I am not expert, at least I have exposure, but uh, uh, uh -huh. I mean, uh, can you please uh, uh, I, give uh, a... I think Huh. Yeah, I think uh, the thing is, uh, the, uh, the client is looking for a, I mean, once you are shortlisted, definitely I already mentioned that, I mean, you will get a couple of questions from the US panels, I mean, the client level questions, or they, they will ask some kind of advanced level question from the SRE area. So that's why I'm asking because I'm, I mean, I, I'm afraid, I mean, um, if it is, um, I couldn't, I couldn't see any of the SRE kind of um, experience in your uh, profile. I thought uh, you have some experience in, pla um, in, in your Amdocs. Uh, you mentioned like the cloud engineer or the platform engineer. So I thought maybe it's it's kind of um, SRE related activities. So basically the SRE, uh, do you know what are the SRE term terminologies or what are the SRE aspects? So uh, I like have uh, heard, uh, whenever I got any advertisement for a job, so 
sometimes i get sre as well so sre is site reliability engineer but yeah, uh, my, my question is uh, do you know what is the basic difference between um uh, the key terms like sla sli slo uh, these are the different terms in in the sre technology do you know what are, what are sla is the service level agreement and sli and all other terms i am not aware okay so that's a problem uh, i think uh Okay, I mean uh, that this is a kind of a different kind of profile. Mm, yeah, yes. But it is related so, to cloud. So if I am given exposure, so I will be able to do it. So, but I, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know uh, how to how to how to work this. Uh, because lack of the SRE knowledge or SRE experience. Um, I don't know how the client will look into that or see that. Okay, uh, got you. Okay. So anyway, I will check with my manager ha, um, yes. regarding this part and uh, let you know the details. Okay. Ah yes. So, thank, thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Everybody.